has connected to the series with Yusuf Arikiri. Today we shall be examining vibration of sound waves in open pipes. An open pipe is a pipe or tube having its two ends open. For the fundamental vibration of an open pipe, there exist two regions of antinodes intersecting at a common node. This can be visualized below. From this diagram of an open pipe, we can see two regions of antinode at the extreme ends here and also here and a common point of intersection known as the node. Let's now consider the determination of the fundamental frequency in an open pipe. To determine the fundamental frequency of an open pipe, let's consider this open pipe of length L. Then since we have two regions of antinodes intersecting at a common point known as the node, then we have that the length of the open pipe L is equal to of course we already know that antinode to node is lambda over 4 that is quarter of a wavelength and similarly node to antinode is lambda over 4 so in this case we have 2 lambda divided by 4 and of course the length of the open pipe is equal to lambda over 2 making lambda the subject we shall have lambda equals to l if we remember that v is equal to f lambda then we should know that v now for the open pipe we call to f naught lambda was obtained as 2l so that the fundamental frequency of the open pipe f naught will be given as v divided by 2l let's now examine the concept of overtones overtones are whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency determination of the frequency of the first overtone in an open pipe we shall start by drawing an open pipe of length l then in this case we are having the first overtone so we are going to have a diagram that looks like this and of course we shall have series of antinode node antinode node and antinode so that in this case the length of the open pipe l will be equal to a to n that's antinode to node lambda over 4 2 lambda over 4 3 lambda over 4 4 lambda over 4 that is l is equal to lambda in this case if we recall that v equals f lambda and of course we already know that lambda is l so that v is equal to f1 let's depict it as a frequency of the first overtone multiplied by l so that f1 will be equal to v over l but we already know that f0 is equal to v over 2L and in this case F1 equals V over L then there is a relationship between F0 and F1 so that we can say F1 will be equal to 2F0 how do we generate this since we know that F0 was V over 2L and clearly V over L is equal to F1 so that we can simply say f0 equals half multiplied by f1 that is we take this as f1 so that cross multiplying we make f1 the subject we have f1 equals to f0 therefore we can say the frequency of the first overtone in an open pipe is twice the fundamental frequency of an open pipe determination of the frequency of the second overtone in an open pipe we shall start by drawing our open pipe of length l and in this case we are getting the second overtone so we shall have a situation like this And of course we have series of antinode node antinode node antinode node and of course antinode so that in this case the length of the open pipe will be equal to antinode to node 
lambda over 4, node to antinode, lambda over 4, lambda over 4, lambda over 4, lambda over 4, lambda over 4. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So length of the open pipe will be equal to 6 lambda over 4. And of course, L will be equal to 3 lambda divided by 2, making lambda the subject shall have that lambda equals 2L over 3. And in this case, we shall substitute in V equals F lambda, so that V will be equal to F2 multiplied by 2L over 3. Making F2 the subject, we shall have F2 equals 3V divided by 2L. And of course, we already know that F0, which is the fundamental frequency, is equal to V over 2L. So that if we put V over 2L in F2, we shall have that F2, which is the second, the frequency of the second overtone, is equal to 3F0. Therefore, we can say that the second overtone, the frequency of the second overtone, is tries the fundamental frequency of an open pipe and by this we can say clearly that an open pipe can generate odd and even harmonics since we already established that f1 for an open pipe is 2f0 and now we saw that f2 is equal to 3f0 of course this is even and this is odd generating odd and even overtones lastly let's consider this question suppose the velocity of sound in air is 350 meter per second what will be the frequency of the first overtone generated in an open pipe of 40 centimeter we shall start by identifying the given parameters from the question we are given the velocity of sound as 350 meters per second and of course the length of the pipe is 40 centimeter which of course is equal to 40 times 10 to power minus 2 meters we are told to get the frequency of the first overtone so that if we recall the frequency of the first overtone f1 equals v over l and substituting in the formula we shall have f1 equals 350 divided by 40 times 10 to the power minus 2 and of course f1 will be equal to 875 so that the frequency of the first overtone generated in the open pipe is 875 hertz. Thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in our next class and please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Thank you.